Good morning everyone, it's May 12th, 2023, and I'm going on a little test drive with FSD Beta 11.4.1. So this is not any specific test loop. I'm taking you through some areas where I have seen repeat issues with FSD Beta builds handling some what I consider very basic maneuvers. So I want to see how this build is handling those issues that I've noticed over, over the last two and a half years. In 500 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Okay, it's all clear from the left. The car is coming. It's probably going to take a little too long. Oh, no, it's going to cut this car off, so I'm inter intervening. Out of an abundance of caution, now I'll push it out. Disengage due to a car high speed coming from the left. So that was out of abundance of caution. The car doesn't accelerate very fast. If if I knew reliably that it would pull out and go, I would have let that happen, but I didn't want to risk anything, so I just intervened under abundance of caution. I'm going to try to do minimal interventions on this and let things play out uh, just so I can show everyone what it's doing. I will intervene if I feel something is not quite safe or very unsafe, obviously, I will intervene. So that little jerk there, this particular left turn, I'm noticing on the previous build, 11.3.6, and now on 11.4.1, it's second guessing its lane selection, and usually it'll start getting in this left lane and then quickly jerk into the right lane for some reason, sometimes when there's a car in that right lane and it's gonna hit them. So I'm still seeing that nervousness on this particular intersection. So the first stop we're going to today is to check this right turn on the Centurion Way that's near the Saugus High School. That's been an ongoing issue for me on every build. I have noticed if the car is in traffic and it's slower than the set speed, it is more able to handle this particular right turn with the bike lane that cuts through it. But if I'm cruising it anything over approximately 45 it, it has a lot of trouble getting into this lane so let's see how the 11.4.1 is doing after we let this maneuver complete into the parking lot at Saugus I'm going to continue on to a Starbucks that has a protected left turn issue I have but the interesting issue here is as I'm pulling out of this parking lot there is an immediate stop sign that it always wants to run. It doesn't, doesn't pay attention to it. Okay, it's signaling. I think it's waiting for this intersection. Oh, now I've got someone cutting me off on the right. Okay, so it's gonna miss this turn unless it makes it, there it goes. Okay, hey, that was actually really good given all the situation. So that that is an improvement. I'm really encouraging I'm really encouraged when I see improvements on these outstanding issues. I know they don't appear like much, in but feet, until you solve for this, it's going to be difficult to get to full autonomy, so very encouraging to see it handle that. Room for improvement obviously, but definitely now turn left. It, it made the turn. Okay, a little bit of aggressive braking there. I think it's as it's calculating the entry into this, it's going really slow. I'm gonna give it a push with my accelerator because of the oncoming car. Yeah, it's, I'm having the push again. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna intervene here. Now your destination is on the right. That. Okay, so it's still calculating the route should come into view here so here we go
No There's no one around, so I'm just letting this play out. Away. It's there we go. Now this turn and immediate stop sign has always been a problem. Okay, we're not positioned very well here. There is a car in the distance coming, so it can go if it goes now. Stop sign right here, and it's blowing through it. So I'm just gonna send that one in. So when there's a stop sign immediately after a turn or any kind of um, sign like that, it's definitely not paying attention to it. So it's still running stop now signs in those situations. BK Canyon Road. Okay, now this one I want to see. It's a dual left turn lane. It needs to be in the right turn lane, which it is very good at doing. I've got cars coming. I'm hoping this stops. It's going right to the edge of the zone here. It could go if it goes now, but it's hesitating, so it's going to wait for this Toyota. It should go right after this Toyota. There we go. Okay, so it's a dual left turn lane to turn into the Starbucks, and then it, it goes into, I believe it's five lanes, and it needs to go really quickly three lanes over to make the right turn into Starbucks. So let's see how it handles this one. get in this left lane it's not looking like it's going to do it so i'm going to tell it i'm going to intervene and tell it to this is a new oh, this is a new lane here that they extended this left turn lane out it's having some trouble with it okay so it should stay in this right left turn lane Now, what all drivers do here, if they want to go into the Starbucks, is they go wide and they go right into the far right lane of uh, Newhall Ranch Road. Beta always follows the lane and then never makes the transition fast enough. There is no one behind me, so I'll try to let this play out. Now turn left onto Newhall Ranch Road. So there, it's trying to go wide. Just go wide. You can do it. It's... I'm kind of hanging in the intersection long, but it did it. No okay. But we were just catching the red on that advanced green. But it made that transition. It just did it very slowly. I'm giving it a little push because it seems to be... Nope, it's missing this a little bit. It's going too wide.
still no special indication of those emergency vehicles on the visualization. Collision warning, I don't know why I did that, it was in control. this vehicle. this is finally working. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Much more confident right turn. Usually it's quicker to get in the left lane. There we go. taking its time. There's a guy right on my butt as you saw there. There we go. Nice left turn on onto the road where we started. 